hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how to handle forms in javascript and how to prevent the default behavior of form submitting uh, in javascript using both jquery and vanilla javascript so how to prevent form from submitting using e dot prevent default method so this is the most commonly method used in uh, with forms in javascript so this is a simple form you can see here as i enter some value here and click on the either search or I can also press the enter key on my keyboard as well if I press this keyword you will see alert box appearing form is submitted but you will not see it is not submitted in the default behavior we have uh, prevented it from submitting we can just do some validation and then the form will be submitted click ok so you will not see the question mark appearing in the address bar so we are we are not submitting with the default behavior so we are using a method which is e dot prevent default method to prevent the form from submitting so we will be seeing the two approaches here so let me just build it from scratch so we have a form tag here and we will be giving a unique id to it so that we can target it in javascript so let me call this as my form and inside this we will have a input field input type of text and let me just give it a id of name and let me provide a validation of required selector and then we will have a input again let's suppose this is submit button so let me provide a value attribute to it of submit so now if i look here open with live server so we have a simple form where you can enter an input field you can enter some text and click on the submit button so you will see this is the default behavior you will see this uh, question mark appearing here in the address bar so this is the default behavior that i am talking about so if you don't apply any sort of validation if you try to submit this form you will see this question mark appearing if i once again submit if i enter a value click on submit you will see this question mark appearing so we are not using any sort of method to prevent the default behavior of form submitting so we need to stop this from doing this so what we can do is that in pure javascript we can write some javascript so just put a script tag and here we can first of all get the form by document dot get element by id and we can provide the id which is mentioned my form and then we can chain it by adding a event listener so add event listener so this is on submit so there is a various event listeners out there in javascript one such listener is submit so which is automatically called when we press the submit button so here we can write our callback function so this has its default variable which is e which is uh, here we can call this method e dot prevent default this is a very famous method so now once again after this we can also print out a message to the user that is form is submitted so this is a really nice approach used by various developers around the world to prevent the auto submission of the form in javascript so if i enter some value here click on submit or either press enter you will see this alert message form is submitted and now you will not see this question mark appearing here because we prevented the auto submit of the form with using simple method of e dot prevent default so here we are not using any sort of third party library or not we are not using jquery we are simply using some javascript we are targeting the form by its id we have provided then we are binding a event listener of submit so when the form submits here when we press the submit button we are automatically calling this callback function which has its e variable event variable and inside this we have this function e dot prevent default which will prevent the auto submission of the form and then we are printing out this message so with this technique you also can capture the value as well which the user has entered so let me also get the value so document dot get element by id so we can get the value that the user has entered dot value so we can print this value as well so if i enter name is and then we can concatenate so you will see that if i once again refresh the page here if i enter some value 
click on submit form is submitted and name is this so you can see we are can also get the value which the user has entered so this is a really nice approach while handing forms now i will see you the just uh, tell you the second way you can also put a on submit there is a attribute on submit you can just make a callback or uh, a function here let's suppose you can just say return false that's it and if you just write these lines return false then also you can just submit your form so if i remove this line here and i just print out this statement here if i refresh here if i write something click on submit you will see name is this so this is a second approach you can also add a custom attribute which is on submit this is a list of this is a special attribute in javascript whenever you submit a form so simply you can just bind this attribute to the form either you just need to write a full function as well so this is a cleaner approach so now i will show you the jquery way third way so if you don't want to use pure javascript if you want to shrink your, your code you can use which is library of jquery simply include its cdn first of all and then inside this this becomes a lot more easier you just need to select the form by its id that's it and there is a simple method out there in jquery which is submit dot submit and inside this simply call e dot prevent default that's it and again you can just say form is submitted that's it so inside this jquery method there is a submit method whenever you submit the form it automatically calls itself and it contains this callback function which contains the e parameter so once again if you refresh here if you enter something click on submit form is submitted so this is again a approach used in jquery so if you don't follow if you don't want to write much code you can follow this approach which is using some jquery so these are the three approaches guys that you can use while preventing the auto submission of the form in javascript or jquery so i have shown you the three approaches so whichever approach suits you the best you can use it and thanks very much for watching this video